Hello, I'm Leonard Lang and I'm here to talk about processing payments today. Processing payments were an integral part of the design of the California Beverage Container Recycling Program. The, uh, the concern in the beginning of the program was that the, uh, the value of the containers that the state wanted collected wouldn't actually cover the cost of recycling. And since glass and, and plastic had really not been done on any uh, significant volumes, uh, significant levels, they created the processing payment to put into this program. Now the problem is, is that the program has changed significantly since the beginning. At, in the beginning, the, ma the majority of containers were aluminum containers. Now we've seen a giant shift to plastic containers, PET predominantly. And there is no processing payment on aluminum, it doesn't need one. Its value is far, far and above what it costs to recycle. That's why aluminum cans have been re recycled for many years, decades. Now, with plastic, the state calculates our costs and comes up with a, in a, a processing payment, which is in essence a subsidy to guarantee that the majority of recyclers won't lose money, that they can be profitable. But with the shift in, in volumes from aluminum to plastic, we now really need to look at this whole process again. It needs to be much more responsive. Prices are going down right now on the, on the uh, export markets for the value of plastic, and it's having an effect on the, uh, the profitability of small recycling centers, small family-run recycling centers. Now, the biggest concern that we have is that the processing payment has not been calculated correctly and that it's never been audited. So one of the things that we'd like to see is a further auditing of the program and audit the processing payments by the state auditor. That way we can be better assured that the calculations are uh, realistic and that they will promote recycling and not, uh, not devastate recycling. And the uh, the value of having the auditor come in is that they can check the processes that the state has used. If there's any corrections needed to be made, they can look at the process, maybe even make some recommendations for statutory changes if needed. But it gives a fresh look. That's what we want, a fresh look. We want the auditor to come in and take a look at this, give us an idea, give us numbers that we can rely on, and help protect our businesses. Thank you.